Well, if, if we have an iconic vehicle, it's Mustang. Any vehicle that's been around 50 years uh, is a big deal, but especially one that's had the kind of passion around it that Mustang's had for 50 years. We're going to celebrate our history and our heritage by going back and doing something that we've done before, tying the old to the new. So what we're doing here is we're making history for the second time. We're putting a Mustang GT convertible on the top of the Empire State Building. The, the process started with, okay, what is the difference between 1964 Mustang and the 2015 Mustang? The car is actually bigger, longer and wider than what it was in 1965. Remember, Empire State Building is exactly how it was 50 years ago. So we have a significant challenge. The actual car itself will be cut into six different pieces. The whole goal is to not make it look like you actually had to cut the car up, but we have to cut the car into pieces because we only have an elevator that's 36 inches wide and the entire car needs to get into that elevator. As we went and took measurements, we actually built a mock-up elevator here at the shop so we can do trial runs of all the product that has to go into the elevators to get up to the top floor. So when we arrive in New York, we won't have any issues with uh, something that quite fitting. The car comes to us, gets completely stripped out, and it goes to our paint and body shop. We've got the body shop crew margining, sectioning, and flattening the car, providing a Global Show Auto paint job. And our metal fabrication team created a subframe that will actually bolt the body of the car and the suspension of the car together. It will be very tough to determine that this car is actually going to part. When you look at it, it's going to look like a, a brand new Mustang up on the 86th floor as a complete car. Slowly but surely, we kind of just doing run-throughs, making sure everything fits properly, double-checking all our measurements, because bottom line is, if it doesn't work here, we're going to be in a lot of trouble in New York. One of the other challenges that I didn't mention is we're under a five-hour window. Once the observation deck closes, basically we have from 2 a.m to 7 a.m. to get this car assembled, put together, and our dunnage carts out of the way. It's amazing that people are as excited about the new Mustang as they were about the original in 64. We as a company, as Ford Motor Company, are very dedicated to the Ford Mustang. We're committed to this car. We're committed to the next 50 years, not only celebrating the 50 that we've already had, and really to say to all of our fans over the 50 years, thank you, and we look forward to another 50.